The Seminoles have arrived in Atlanta for the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, and so has Seminoles.com. I'm Lane Hurt, along with Jonathan Chalasi. Jonathan, the Seminoles held their first practice since they've arrived here in Atlanta today, and it sounded like, to a man, everyone was really happy with how the team performed. Yeah, they came out here, they came out with energy, they came out with a purpose, and that was big for head coach Jimbo Fisher. He said, you know, you could really tell the tone of a team when they come out in the first practice and they really have it all right there. He said the tempo was great, the execution was great, he loved what he saw today. The key word that the players and Coach Fisher used was focus, take a listen. They always wonder how they come off a layoff three or four days. We had, I was very pleased coming into the game and I've been very pleased after the first day of the day, they had a great attitude. We got work done. We had a normal Monday practice. We extended about eight or ten minutes on a couple other things we worked on. But uh, kids went out and were very sharp, looking in good condition, and the guys had done some things while they were home. So very pleased with that. And looking forward, we're going to have to have a great practice, great preparation, and uh, looking forward to playing a great Houston team. So It was very important, you know, because everybody had a long break, well, these two days, the break. And it was crucial for us to come back and, and be how we were where we left off at. So. Today in practice, it was crisp and it was sharp, and everybody looked like they was locked in. So it was a good thing. I, I, we started the week off good. So. We've already talked a lot about the, the game. Obviously, Florida State wants to end the season with a victory against Houston, but there are a ton of fun things going on this week. Go-kart racing, family feud, a ton of different things, yet it seemed like the Seminoles were excited about one thing that they get to experience tonight. Yeah, they want to go to the College Football Hall of Fame, and why not? I mean, this is a thing where, I mean, I mean, you're part of college football. You want to know the history. You want to be a part of it. And that's what all of them wanted to do. I mean, it, it's just something where it's a learning experience. Coach Fisher said, you know, you can learn in the classroom and you can learn outside the classroom. And this is a, a chance for them to learn a little bit outside the classroom. Yeah, for a head coach, everyone knows head coach Jimbo Fisher is a huge college football history buff, and it seemed like a couple of the players are as well. Yeah, yeah, I've always loved college football. I mean, it'll be interesting to learn some stuff. Uh, you know, when I when I go there, I've never been there, so I'm um, sure I, I can learn a lot of things. The College Football Hall of Fame, you know, hopefully I get to be in there one day and uh, just spend time with my teammates, you know. Uh, Coach, Coach Fisher always says this team has a one-year life expectancy, and you know uh, that year is, is winding down pretty fast. I may stay, and you may lose me tonight. I may not go to the dinner. I may not go anywhere. I may be wandering. You better get, you better uh, assign somebody to me, because I do. I love looking at that and appreciate the history of what we do. Seminoles.com will have everything you need all week long as Florida State leads up to that Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl against Houston, including a lot of fun stuff from that battle with the ball. We'll have post-game interviews with the guys who are competing and it should just be a lot of fun this week. Yeah, I mean they're really looking forward to it. You know, they say compartmentalize, you know, because there's so much going on. There's so much fun. They're looking forward to all that. It's going to be a fun time. You know, you want to win that belt. I think they said, I don't know if it's just the Chick-fil-A saying it, but they said every, every team that's won the belt has won the game. So can Florida State win the belt? And I mean, obviously, I mean, these guys are competitive yeah. by nature. Once they get going, regardless what the task is, they're going to have some fun with it. Oh, yeah, and I, I'm really looking forward to Someone asked uh, Demarcus Walker what he would sing if he sang in the lip sync, and he said he would do Adele. So that's, that's fun. We should have a lot of fun videos coming forward. Stay tuned to that. We'll have the, the uh, lip sync battle and milkshake making competition tonight on the website and then some more from the College Football Hall of Fame on Sunday morning. That'll wrap up things for now. For Jonathan Schlacey, I'm Lane Hurt. Go Knowles.